Los Angeles is spoiled with plant-based eats, so we're back at it again with another What I Eat in a Week video. Y'all seem to really love these ones, and I have a strong relationship with food, so I'd say I'm eating for the both of us. <laughs> Just to catch up, any of the new folks watching, hi, I'm Ellie Jane, and I'm going to be traveling for the next year with my love, KT. We're going to be munching all around the world, and y'all should definitely stay tuned on both of our channels, because we're both super excited to share this journey with y'all. This week, not gonna lie, we did a lot. Not only will I be sharing all the deliciousness we ate, but I'll also be sharing some of the things we did because, wow, Los Angeles is literally just a ginormous playground and there's so much stuff to do. I know it's a super popular tourist spot, but don't let the hype deter you. It's worth experiencing for yourself. Today, I politely invite you guys to join us as we eat pizza under the stars. Looking at lizards. What do you think so far? Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. I thought like LA was just like concrete, 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 but there's so much nature out here, like. It's a little harder than I thought it would be, <laughs> but it's at, nice. At least you're dressed for it. Yeah, he's wearing all black. I mean, I'm wearing all black too, but at least it's like workout stuff. Definitely recommend this hike, for yes, sure. No doubt. Okay, let's get to the top then. Let's get it. Let's get it. We're at the show now. We're waiting for it to start. <laughs> We're in this crazy dome, y'all. Hey guys, welcome back. Or, hey guys, we're back at the apartment and we're currently in the lounge. Had an amazing time at the observatory. You can tell she's cheesing. Look at her, she's so happy. Yeah, I just love Otherwise. space. And yeah, my favorite film is Interstellar. Um, if you haven't watched it, you should definitely watch it. We were feeling like sipping, so I don't drink often, but when I do, it's like super intentional and I feel like you should never drink to catch a vibe. You should be vibing and just feel like drinking. So that's what we're doing. And we have them in these cute little, I think these are sake cups. I don't know, but they're cute. Here we go. Oh shit, this is crazy. <laughs> oh. Cheers. Oh, and today I discovered that we are all made of stardust, so here is to stardust to, st <laughs> to the stars which is us, us. stardust ew i we need to order pizza oh my god they're gonna close okay catch y'all okay. soon we order Oh, I think I just won the game. I just won. They, they have a foosball table at home. This is my first time playing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it says my name, Ellie, vegan. Oh. What? With cashew almond ricotta. Right, reach for it. I haven't had these thingies since Pizza Hut days. For real, hot tongue, let's get it. 
Hot Tongue LA, baby. Cheers me then. Cheers. Mm. Don't tell me this doesn't taste good. Try this, bro. This is great. I said that before I even took a bite. <laughs> <laughs> The portions are great and the prices are very, very fair. So good. Final rating for the entire place and all the dishes all together. Nine. Nine. I would give it like a 9.3. I really loved it. And I've been wanting birria tacos for a long time. I haven't had it since before being vegan. I've never seen it before. So. That was just an absolute treat for a girl. I feel like overall for just a taco experience, because I feel like with tacos, it's, it takes a lot to get full. And with Kiru, he eats like 12 or 13 tacos when we make them at home. <laughs> and I'm not exaggerating. And I'll eat like eight or something. We had 14 tacos, but yeah, so good. If you ever come to LA, you should try it regardless if you're vegan or not. There were so many people going in and out of that place. Like, I hope they're doing well. It looked like they were doing well, but their prices were just like the cheapest that we've seen, I think, for anything. If we had more time here, I would definitely want to go again. But with tacos, I find like we need to space it out. Um, but we're going to try another place with tacos and it's Ethiopian tacos. So that's gonna be on another day, but yeah, we'll give it some time before we have tacos again.
Ladies and gentlefolk, boys and gals, we are on the way to Ginger's Alkaline Cafe. Doctor said be approved. I was gonna say it. Ah, you didn't even let me like come in for the intro. <laughs> Doctor said be approved. <laughs> Throw, throw, throw up Dr. Sebi one time. Dr. Sebi. R.I.P. R.I.P. Very suspicious, the timing of his passing. And Nipsey Hussle, too. Shout out Nip. Look into that if you want to know more. Well, yeah, we're going there, but first, we're going to shoot some dance videos for the man. You guys, check him out. He's been filming dance videos around the world. And we're going to keep it going. And I just found out that Cillian Murphy went vegan. Uh, uh, and it's pronounced Killian. Sorry, as I just told KT, I get excited when I hear of celebrities that are vegan because- And they, and they announce it. And they announce it because that obviously can be controversial and that's not what they're focused on. Um, they're just trying to raise awareness, I guess, by sharing that they are. Anyways, ciao for now. Here we are, all alone in the forest. Uh oh. Yeah. <laughs> we decided to go to this beautiful park. We went up the steep steep road and realized there weren't many places to park or film so it worked out there's a park nearby i wanted to walk here after filming but it's all good we can change the plans we're flexible we're not uptight <laughs> true <laughs> true but yeah this place is beautiful the birds are just singing i miss the birds i haven't really heard birds since um, being in LA and if we do it's like very very occasional it's beautiful I put my sweater on because sometimes it gets a little windy and it gets a little chilly but I love it out here it's so pretty I love palm trees if I haven't said it a million times already <sighs> Time to eat! to start with that we're back home as you can tell this gorgeous mirror that i love so much oh i can see you kiru yo there's a comedy night tonight there's food provided we just checked it out it's pizza but they have vegan pizza and then they have a gluten-free pizza but not both so i don't know if i'm gonna risk it all for my body KT never does, <laughs> but oh, you guys, show me the popcorn. Show me the popcorn. The best popcorn ever. This is the best popcorn ever. This, you guys, it is so good. The lesser evil popcorn. It's made with butterfly popcorn, so it's like super light. It's you can actually feel the difference if you're a popcorn girly. And it's just, we just got the Himalayan pink salt, but I think they have other ones too. But this one's just so good. This is the best popcorn ever. Best popcorn ever, made with coconut oil, so you know, and good oil. oil. But yeah, it's the best popcorn ever. If you ever see it, you should definitely try it. It's not too salty at all, which kind of makes it more addicting because you like, you taste a bit of the salt and you're like, more, more. But yeah, Casey's gonna have a snack, some cereal, maybe a burrito, who knows. And then we're gonna check out the comedy show and see if we ha ha ha. Oh. <laughs>
conscious, I'm conscious. I got my food, you gotta go get yours. Oh no. About to say something? Are you a bunch of loogie on me? <laughs> it was like, he was like. <laughs> Take this in banana fries, banana fries, burrow banana fries, burrow bananas, not regular bananas, burrow bananas. Loaded banana fries. Hello friends, welcome back. We just got some work done this morning. We went to a couple of cafes, um, did some cafe hopping. Yep. Yep. In Beverly Hills. And we wanted to save our appetite for this all you can eat Ethiopian buffet. Um, it just happens over the weekends. So we wanted to catch it on one of our last weekends here. And this restaurant is actually completely vegan. Yes. So it's Ethiopian food, 100% vegan. Super excited about it. Yes, I'm so excited. We haven't had Ethiopian food since before we left. <laughs> so, <laughs> and we brought shoto like in our luggage, but we're saving it for when we go to Asia because we won't have it there. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm so pumped. We didn't know that we were gonna turn into like a little Ethiopia town. Um, Crazy. It's what it's called, Little Ethiopia. <laughs> there's a bunch of like signs on the street. I'm about to show some B-roll, but um, yeah, there's a whole bunch of restaurants here. Even like the the pay meters, the parking meters, they have like the colors on the pole. Um, it's super cute. And yeah, I'm pumped. I'm okay, so I'm, hungry. I'm, I'm hungry now. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> he was saying he wasn't hungry. I was like, I'm starving. It's like two o'clock, so... Let's get We just drove to this like neighborhood. Um, I, apparently these are called the flats of Beverly Hills. So we're just walking and you know, just helping boost our metabolism <laughs> for that dinner, brunch, brutcher, brum, brunch per. It was breakfast, lunch, and dinner. The one meal for today, we're solid. That's all we needed. <laughs> yeah, we got all three of our meals in one. I'm so full. Yeah, for the, so for those of y'all that still have this misconception of the plant-based lifestyle and think you can't get full, it's because you're not eating the right foods, bro. Yeah. Like, we are stuffed right now. Like, you get so much protein from chickpeas and lentils alone. And that, that was the core of our meal today. There's a lot of chickpeas and lentils. So you got, like, some nice legumes with, with spices and ginger. Like, it's just, ah, oh, man. It's a nice lifestyle, man. We love it. We love it. When life gives you... Lemon. Lemon. Yeah, you look kind of weird. <laughs> I'm getting hot, okay? Yeah, what are some of the things that like you've 
like made note of out here in Beverly Hills, like with these houses and what the lifestyle seems like? Ah, uh, yeah, I mean like everybody just has nice cars, all their lawns are perfectly trimmed and manicured and just everything's so perfect. Mm -hmm. There's grass, we don't have grass in Holly uh, East Hollywood, there's like no grass when you're walking down the sidewalks, so it's nice to see grass, mm -hmm. but yeah, like walking through here just makes it feel so like attainable, mm -hmm. like when you think of like a big house, it's like, oh my god. Sheesh. Yeah, that, it, it looks so out of reach. But when you're like walking through it for a while, you kind of feel like, oh, I'm about to walk to my house now, so. It's light work. Yeah. These are just external things that don't... Um, I feel like we just put them on a, a high bar but you just have to align yourself with the the energy that this is and the things will line up for you to get it exactly like this trip like i would have never thought that i'd be traveling full time and being able to work uh, work and travel at the same time and i just kept thinking about it and the pieces just fell into place and you just kind of have to trust what's happening good and bad and you'll be right where where you where you belong so As I'm partially editing this video, I'm just getting so giddy. This was literally one of my favorite days in our entire trip. The vibes were just so high. We got to bike around together, which we've never done before, and to do it alongside the beach was just so amazing. I low-key wish that I got the electric bike because my legs, I'm too short, and so I'm like, you'll see. Yo, hop on. Yeah. Go, Ellie Jane. Go, Ellie Jane. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, that bike too big for you, girl. Holy sh There was this drummer and he was just fire. He really contributed to the beauty that the sunset was giving. But after this, we were super hungry and we touched this place called Berbere. It's a Havisha fusion place and this is another spot we were super pumped to go to. I definitely felt underdressed as it had unexpectedly had a slightly more upscale feel to it. We got a shared plate of injera, mixed greens, shudo, alicha, masur, and some vegan dibs tacos which were bomb. They were so flavorful. We finished our meal off with some deaf pancakes, which were definitely more savory than sweet, but they were delicious nonetheless. So good, and I highly recommend this place. Good night. I don't want to. Aww. <laughs>